It has been a really awesome couple of weeks for RC, and here we have another new Esheen helicopter. This thing looks so good, doesn't it? That is so sweet, especially with the four blades. The battery section is very cool. They've hidden it down below. Super, super awesome. It comes in under $100, just like that cool little military drone we tested the other day, but that's gotta be one of the coolest looking helicopters I have ever even seen in person, especially owned. Not only that, but it has visual position hold on the bottom, so in this wind, it should help us fight that and fly a lot more stable. Whoever is at Esheen doing this with that military drone in those scale Warbirds needs to be given a raise. I mean, that is, this is like the best year I've ever seen uh, for Esheen putting good stuff out. I think they've realized finally, hey, we've got a brand and we've got to represent and put some cool things out. And that's what we have with this helicopter. I'm so excited to fly this. So without further ado, let's put it in the air. So this has an auto takeoff, auto land button. Remember when you first get yours, you need to Turn the radio on, then the helicopter, throttle up, throttle down, and then it's bound. Uh, we're gonna do auto takeoff. Here we go. Ooh, that was quick. Just jumped right in the air. And now with this wind, I'm just gonna go ahead and bump up to rate two so we can fight the wind. Uh, it may not look it, you guys might be able to hear it, but it's probably a good solid, I don't know, seven, eight mile an hour wind. Let's go to rate three to really fight that wind. I'm gonna highly recommend and highly encourage you guys that if you pick up a helicopter of any kind, especially if you're a newer pilot, do not fly in any amount of wind. It's very hard to combat if it's your first flight and what a person will do generally on their first flight is this. Oh, that's cool. And now I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna let go of the controls and it'll fly away. Now here's the beautiful thing about this helicopter. I still recommend you don't fly in much wind, but check this out. How's that, Abby? Good. <laughs> That's called visual position hold, and it's gonna help you fight the wind. When you take your hands off the controls, as you may notice, I'm gonna lower the helicopter. We're drifting off to the right some. Hard to tell when you're just looking at a blue sky. We're still drifting some, but it being in rate three, and my hands are still off the controls, it's actually doing a fantastic job at fighting that wind. Now, when you're buying this helicopter, you're not buying it for a stunt helicopter or anything like that. You're literally buying a scale, cool looking helicopter. When I just pushed forward, what it did was visual position hold, let go. It jerked back for a second, and then it let me fight this wind to move forward. I wouldn't fly in any stronger winds than this because I'm literally full forward right now pushing against that wind and I just can't fight anymore. This thing just looks cool though, doesn't it? Now if I turn sideways, it's really struggling to fight that wind. I have to be full forward and I'm, I'm full forward right now just to try and fight that wind. So maybe not the best time of day for us to record, but we've got some storms coming and I wanted to be able to get this thing out here to you guys to let you know it exists, it's here and it's very cool. Um, before these storms hit because I really don't know how long it's going to be before we get to come out and fly something again. Um, now the little the little military drone, I'm trying to fight this to get it back closer to us, the military drone that we featured on the channel is like the same price and honestly it's kind of like the same setup. It's got the same radio, a lot of similarities, same packaging and luckily it comes in at the same price. I think it was right at $85 for a ready-to-fly helicopter like this that looks this good with lights we're going to get insane flight time on it that is a really good price point especially now with everything going up 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 i love that it has four blades it comes with spare parts one extra spare blade and this setup that i have has two batteries that'll cost five more batteries for the two batteries or five more dollars excuse me five more dollars for the two battery setup there we go we finally had the wind die down long enough for us to pull over here we've got a tail light which looks great and a light on the front, which is kind of hard to see. It just sounds really good now that there's no wind, listen. I don't look cool. Mm -hmm. I like the white striping on the front of the blades too, on the top. And I'm just kind of letting visual position hold take over a little bit, but each additional battery that you buy is gonna cost five more dollars. I think it's definitely worth it. If this is anything like that other helicopter, we're gonna get insane flight times out of it. 
It looks amazing flying around. It's just a good looking, great flying scale helicopter. If you're like me and got excited when you saw this little guy in the thumbnail, then you're probably pretty pumped about picking one up for yourself. No fancy bells and whistles with this. Actually, there are. That visual position hold is new technology that wasn't available that long ago, but thanks to the progression of drones, they're now throwing it in helicopters like this, letting more people find this hobby and be more accessible. Now, something really cool happened when Abby and I got up here. As soon as we pulled up for the first time ever in, in uh, just nature, I saw a bald eagle. It was flying around. I got a little bit of footage on my phone. Abby took a couple pictures on the camera. A hundred percent sure that was a bald eagle. And I just thought that was the coolest thing ever to see. I was like double rainbow guy reaction, like really cool. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna throw any of that in here for you guys to see, maybe a quick photo or a few seconds of it, but I'm just hovering the helicopter while I talk about it. So um, that was awesome. And I thought some of you would appreciate that and just like, made my day. On top of getting to fly a really cool helicopter like this, um, we're just really lucky, Abby. That was, that was a really cool experience to see. <laughs> and as it was flying away, we didn't get this on camera, but we heard it do its like screech. And it was just so awesome to see and hear. So really cool guys, really cool experience. Here we go, fighting that wind. What happened was I just let go of visual position hold, which means I gave it input and uh, it was doing a great job fighting that wind. Look at this, I'll just let go and it's gonna fight the wind on its own. But then when I push forward, it's gonna fight back just a hair and then let me fly forward. So it's doing almost a better job than me fighting the wind. Now we can fly fast going this way, but when it comes to this way, we're just trying to fight that wind. And I am still in the highest grade, so. Definitely wait for a calm day to fly this. But what do you guys think? Do you like this helicopter more? Or do you like that military drone more? Let us know in the comments. What's your cup of tea? I'm, I'm like, I'm almost 50. Nah, I kind of like the military drone like 60% and then this gets 40%. I like that military drone a little bit more uh, just for the cool factor, but this is still extremely awesome. Now if I can, I'm trying to fight wind to get it back over here to us to try to come in for a nice smooth landing. This video is straight up us talking about a bald eagle and you guys watching a helicopter that's really cool fight wind the entire time. You're Here's what you do. Down there if, you, if you're like me in this situation, what you need to do is just land it. Get it in the grass, we'll just land it. All good, throttle down, hold throttle down and get your helicopter. Now, uh, don't do this at home, but I wanna make sure it's still gonna spool up after having hit that grass because I like this helicopter a lot. Now what I'll do, press auto land. And I think this has a safety feature built into it because that motor actually shut off really fast. I think it recognized resistance uh, and then allowed the motor to shut off quickly. We still have two out of four lights on the bottom of that. That's not awesome telemetry, but at least it tells us how much battery is left. So we still have 50% or so of our battery left. You guys can probably see the little white light on the front and then there's a tail light too. I love how this looks while it's in the air and I apologize for bringing this to you guys um, in so much wind, but you know, we're just rolling with the punches and I'm just, I'm glad we can. If we didn't come out today, I wouldn't have gotten to see that bald eagle. So that's amazing, that's so amazing. Here's the radio, just like the little military drone. Uh, you'll notice there's, uh, everything's turned off. I have the uh, spring loaded joystick on this side and on this side. That's nice because it gives us altitude hold, uh, which is why it was hovering by itself so well. If, especially for newer pilots, it's just really nice for just a simple scale looking helicopter. Um, another beautiful thing about this is also, I fly mode two. You probably watching fly mode two, but there's a good 10, 15% of you guys that watch that fly mode one, which means your throttle's on this side. However, us Americans that do everything backwards, throttle is on the left side. And that's gonna feel more natural to most of you in the US watching too. But if you just so happen to order the wrong mode, that's okay. You can very easily switch modes. It's in the instruction booklet. So if you make that mistake, not all is lost. It's a good setup. That's a nice radio. Esheen, listen, Esheen, Esheen, you're killing it. This helicopter, that little military drone, your little warbirds, you're like, making a very unique, good name for yourself. Stop trying to compete with Arma and Traxxas and E-Flight and do your own thing because 
this is what we like and it's awesome because those other brands aren't doing this kind of stuff. So keep it up. That's a home run. I'm so happy with this. If you guys like it, we'll have a link in the description box below. It's under $100. That's amazing in today's market. I love that. And uh, if you use that link, it helps to support our channel and our family at no extra cost to you. The downsides to this helicopter are definitely that it can't fight wind very well at all. If you're looking at five to 10 mile an hour winds, don't even think about it. Just wait till it's calm in the evening. You witnessed it. We're just fighting wind the whole time. The pros, long flight time, obviously how it looks and how easy it is to fly. And of course that price, I give it two massive thumbs up. Man, it's been a while since we've done the thumbs up, thumbs down kind of review, right? <laughs> That's what this gets though. And I'm so grateful everyone. I'm so grateful for this experience to share this helicopter with you, but to see that bald eagle in nature like this, I'm so grateful. And for that awesome moment, I thank God just for another sweet day of life and just getting to experience it with you guys. It's so cool. And a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because we couldn't do what we do as often as we do it without your awesome support. You're the backbone to our channel and we're so grateful. Now, if you enjoyed this helicopter and you wanna know a little bit more about the drone that I was referencing in this video, we'll have that video popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.